Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Amanda. Thanks for joining me today. If you're new here or you've stumbled across the channel, please subscribe. Uh, my goal this year is to aim for 50,000 subscribers. <laughs> now that is a joke. My aim is to get a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. So I'd really appreciate it if you could help me get there. Um, for those of you that have subscribed, welcome back and thanks for sticking with us through this difficult time. I know we're still on lockdown, that's fine. Um, I've got a bit of a haul for you today. I've been uh, shopping, I've been and got my, some food shopping and while I was out I needed to call in B&M for some bits and pieces so I thought I would have a quick look around there while I was out. I've been and got my tablets as well which was my other essential journey as well as the food. Um, so I've got some bits and pieces in there while it was quiet so I thought I'd share them with you today and also I went into Marks and Spencers so I'll show you, I've only got a mini food thing from there this week. Um, hubby's out tonight so uh, I didn't know what to have for my tea because I'm on my own so I thought I'll just, uh, with I'm going out anyway, going food shopping what have you, I'll pop and get a pizza from Marks and Spencers. So I'll show you that in a second. It's really not that exciting but hey ho it's a pizza and I love it. So there we go. So firstly I want to say grab yourself a cuppa I'm still using my Santa's little helper cup. The others are in the dishwasher, that's why. <laughs> so I'll just have a quick drink. You'll have to excuse my no face make no makeup face because I didn't put my makeup on with going out with the with the mask. It's making my face so I don't know if anybody else has found that. If um I've got makeup on, well I don't know if it's because of the makeup, I think it's the mask. Um, I'm getting like a bit of a breakout on my nose where it where it is and on my chin and I think it's just because we've got them on for that long now because um, I'm tending now to as well as wear them if I go shopping which is my weekly shop I wear the mask the minute I walk out of the door so whether I'm walking to my car or I'm going for a walk or whatever I'm doing whether I'm doing my daily walk round and um, I do tend to put the mask on the minute I leave the house. Um, I do wash them as soon as I've been out so it's not a, a build up of anything on my mask. Um, I just wondered if anybody else was having that problem. Can you let me know below if you're having um, issues with your skin? So I decided today not to put any makeup on because I was going shopping um, and I see if that makes any difference. Um, I don't know if it will. I'm also really bunged up as well um, and again I don't know if that's with the masks with it being around your face all the time. Um, I feel really like nasally and then I blow my nose and then two minutes later it's as bad again so I don't know if it's a sinus thing because of the mask or I have no idea but anyhow. Yes, so I forgot last week uh, when I did my shop at Home Bargains I put these in a separate bag and I forgot about it. So I did buy um, some insoles for my boots, these are memory foam ones. Um, if you hear anything, is the dog snoring that nice by the way? hear him? Wait for it. Oh, stop now. <laughs> but anyhow, um, few, you might have heard him then. A few years ago I had reconstructive surgery on my feet following a, a bunion operation that didn't work properly. It didn't, my feet didn't heal properly. Um, so I had um, a bunion up uh, an operation and reconstructive surgery on my feet. So on my right foot um, I tend to walk heavier on my right foot and it wears the grip out on my boots quicker in the centre where the ball of your foot is. So it's, it's hurting when I'm walking. There's nothing wrong with the boots other than under the sole of these boots has got like crisscross grip and in the middle where your weight bear mainly um, it's all faded away, rubbed away. Well on the left one it's fine. So I'm going to put some memory foam insoles in them and I think that'll stop a lot of the pain because the boots are absolutely fine. I don't really want to get rid of them. If that don't work I will have them resold. So that was them. I think they were about a pound. I can't remember because I've lost my, I don't know where the receipt is. So excuse, excuse me for that. And I also picked up these which I've popped in my cupboard out of the way. Um, I always save leftovers, I never bin them and as I keep saying I am going to do a video about that, 
um, and I'm using tin foil and things to cover the um, when I put it in the fridge I use tin foil to cover the bowl or the plate whatever now these in um, home bargains were $1.99 and it's a box of six um, and the silicon lids I'll show you them they come like so and they've got tabs on them and they're stretchy and they cling to your bowl the biggest one is in the fridge at the moment because I've got it covering something that's the littlest one um, and it saves on cling film it saves on tin file um, and that type of thing it saves on bags and, and what have you because I hate plastic waste as well as food waste and um, so it says the I say I've got an itch to tickle it says ideal covering for food and liquids suitable for cups jars bowls dishes fruit vegetables and more the smallest one is six centimeters and the largest is 20 centimeters and if you look on this side um, it shows you multiple tabs for easy removal you can put it for uh, what does that say keep items fresh for longer age oh that's good as well you can open jars with it quick solution for lost lids and then to give you a grip on a jar if you're struggling to open it you can put that over the top and it gives you a grip that's good isn't it and then it says on the other side suitable for glassware leak proof suitable for snacks and sweets suitable for what does that one say i can't see it in the reverse any shaped container so it could be square round oval whatever so that's good and i thought they were brilliant so as i say the big one the biggest one is in the fridge covering the bowl at the moment so i'll keep them in the box in the cupboard and then i know where they are which is why i forgot to film them because i forgot that i bought them so i'll pop those up there out of the way okay so what i'm going to do is start up um with the top of the receipt when i can think what it's called i hope you're all all right today by the way i've got a few um storage and organizing things that i'm going to be on with as you know i'm going to be doing all sorts of stuff over time and during this time that we've got the time to do it so first of all I needed a new cutlery tray, mine's getting a bit grubby, but a grubby. Um, my drawers were, my kitchen units were built in situ, so they weren't from a shop, so they're not standard size. So I needed quite a narrow one, and that was the narrowest one that they do. So I'm hoping, yeah, I'm just checking it against the drawer, hoping that it fit. Um, they did have a lovely big one um in there by addis but it would have been too big for, for mine but this is by wham and it was a pound everyday cutlery tray so i shall be using swapping my old one um and using this one it's got a bit grubby and scratched and it's been in there about 10 years so it has been washed and things in between but hey -ho, things don't last forever now i got also i haven't tried these yet um the new fabulosa bathroom sprays um i've got this one which is in noir that smells gorgeous that was a pound Put that over there what's next on my list um my studio box which is this and this is by wham as well um that was a pound these are all from b m now my plan for that is to pop it on my bedside so that um, when I've taken my makeup off on a night um, I've got some microfiber makeup removers um, so rather than having to trail upstairs downstairs wherever to put them so they can be washed the next day I thought if I pop this on my bedside I can pop them in there and then I can, plus if I use up any product or whatever I can put the empty packaging in there and then I can bring it downstairs in the morning and pop them in the washer however i did watch um one of my favorite cleaning ladies um lindsay queen of clean and she showed you how to clean the makeup wipes and things without having to pop them in the washer so i bought the bits to do that as well um so have a look at her on instagram 
Um, I think it's Lindsay Queen of Clean or Queen of Clean Lindsay. Uh, but she's on there and she's got loads of hints and tips as well. She comes on this morning and does stuff on there with Philip and Holly. Um, and yeah, she's really, really good. So I thought I'd put my used wipes in there overnight and then bring it downstairs the next day. So that's what that was for. Everything has a purpose. Um, and so to carrying on from that theme with her, one of the things she uses is the bicarbonate of soda. So I got a box of that today as well to, to sort it out and that was a pound and then I got two of these baskets storage caddies these were a pound uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure with these I think I'm going to put my flannels in there and things that I use downstairs in the utility um, for face facial use I've got cleansers downstairs and upstairs so it depends where I do it so if I use it downstairs, I think I'm going to put my flannels and cleanser and things in here, my hot cloths and things. So I got two of those. They were a pound and I thought they were really good. Um, I can always use them in my pantry. I've got a video to upload about my decluttering of my pans, pantry as well. So I'll mention that in a second. I just thought they'd be good on my pantry shelf if not. And if they're all right, I will get some more. They were a pound each. Talking of makeup removers. I got this pack of white ones. There's a pack of two there from B&M at 199. Um, this says remove makeup with just water, no soap needed, add water, reusable, machine washable, environmentally friendly. Now, I use, I still use a cleanser with mine. I do like to to cleanse and make sure I've got all the impurities out of my face. So, um, yeah, I still will be using that. So. This, I've been looking for this for weeks. I got one the other week, if you remember, uh, for my washing tablets. And I wanted one for my dishwasher tablets. My favourite brand, Addis. So they've got those, which has got the lid on. So it keeps my washing um, tablets lovely and fresh. So I'm assuming it'll keep my um, dishwasher tablets fresh as well. And because it'll be in the utility with the other, then the matching as well. So I got that. That was £3. And then that's completed in there. Uh, I'm looking at my list. Now, on the... Where's that gone? Um, oh, it's here. On, on Lindsay's cleaning, Queen of Clean, what she does is pop her... I've got the box with a clip lock lid first, let me tell you that. That was a pound. This is one that you can pop in the microwave because it's got a lift up thing. But I just wanted something that was a good size to put a facial cloth in and some eye makeup cloths as well uh, and stay and without it leaking anywhere. So that's what that is. That's about and what she does is she mixes a bit of bicarbonate of soda, warm water and I think it's washing powder. I can't remember the other one. I'll have to recheck on her channel. And then she mixes it together and just pops her dirty washcloths in the box and leaves the lid, clips the lid down, leaves it overnight. And then the next day, rinse the take out of the pure clean. I thought that was amazing. Rather than having to save them up, save them up, put them in the washer. So that was brilliant. So I'm going to give that a go. Um, I needed some descaler for our kettle. So that was the other thing I got. Some Oost, oust, descaler. So that was that. That was a pound. There's three sachets in there as well. Um, and I needed some mascara. So I got that while I was in there. Max Factor False Lash Effect. That was £3.99. Save me going back again. That's that one. And next thing on my list, Betty Crocker. <laughs> oh no, Betty Winters. Betty Winters milk chocolate chips. I thought a packet of these. I did some muffins the other day for hubby. So I thought I'll put a bag of those in and then I can do it when I do want some more then I've got them in and I have to go get them. So they were uh, 59p. Handy to have in. They do dark and uh, the milk. I'm not sure about white. Excuse me. Let me have a little sip. It's thirsty work all this yabbering on. And trust me. I know, I have her on. And, um, those of you that know, I'm a Yorkshire girl. Yorkshire girls, yab her on. Yak her on and gabble on and whatever else they do. <laughs> gas bag. I've been called all sorts like, are you right? Gas bag. Yeah. <laughs> 
Anyhow, yeah. And I told you about my nose feeling bunged up all the time. So I went to get a Vicks stick to put up my nose to breathe in an inhaler. But they didn't have a Vicks one. And I didn't want to go to another shop, to a chemist or anything like that. So I got the one that they did have in, which is the Albus inhaler. Um, this was one ninety nine. It says relief from catarrh, colds, and blocked sinuses. So I'm hoping that that'll work. Um, yeah, one ninety nine for that one. Um, and then because when I go out, I always say all the boys I'm going shopping and I'll bring them a present. So I bought them. They've had a couple, they've had one each out of here. So there's three missing. These Rodeos. These were a pound from uh, B and M. So that's for them and then I save them while well, next time when we go shopping next week and then they keep them in the pantry and then they can have one next week when I come in and they think I've brought a new packet and I haven't this one from this week they do have little biscuits normal biscuits not the chew sticks um in the week as well but when I go out I tell them that they get one of them when I come back if they've been good <laughs> oh dear things we do but anyhow <laughs> I also thought I would buy, try this. While I was getting the mascara, I saw this, and it says, High Definition Camera Ready Foundation. So I thought when I'm filming on here, I would give that a go. Does that, is that focusing? Let's have a look. Will that make it better? Wait a second. Seeing people put the hand behind it. I don't know if that works just on cameras or whatever, phones. I'm on the um, actual PC at the minute. No. So this is natural beige, made by W7, and it says um, a lot of stuff on there in foreign, just says base. It doesn't say anything else on there, but it's a 30ml bottle, um, camera ready, so I'm hoping it's like, I don't know if... I used to do photography, and some makeups um, have got like foundations have got like um, illuminating pigments in to make your skin look fresher um, it doesn't say that on the actual bottle when you buy it but they have got like a pigment in them that lightens your that reflects the light from your face so that your face looks younger and clearer now on the camera if you take a photograph on um, on a normal camera or on a phone camera or anything that can have a, um, like an impact on the out on the overall result of the picture it can look a bit strange um, and it like gives you a funny color on the screen so um, that may stop that from happening um, so we'll give it a go anyway next time I'm filming we'll have a look so that was 199 um, I also got the kitchen Fabulosa spray. This is called Spotless Kitchen Evening Jewel. This one. I've not tried these before, so I'll be interested to try them. It says removes dirt, grease, and grime, kills 99.9% .9 of virus, effective kitchen cleaning. Um, and it says, what does it say on here? Proven to kill coronavirus, E. coli or something aureus, wisteria, campylobacter, MRSA, salmonella and influenza type bugs basically. Leaves no chemical residue. So that's good and it's suitable for septic tanks. There's a lot of products that if you have got a septic tank you can't use cleaning products in them. So and then what I thought was when I've used this I can um, make some disinfectant up and spray it and use it use put it in this spray bottle to use as a spray cleaner so that's my thoughts behind that one so that's good we'll try those that was um, a pound I also needed some nail glue so I've got two of the um, b and nail glues they were 99p each they are really good they're just like silk glue really for sticking your your false nails on I've been after some I did order some off eBay but they haven't come yet so I throw them in there and I thought I may get that one and then for my utility room I've got a basket in there at the minute on the floor at the side of the toilet that I've got all my cleaning products in well it's been in there a couple of years it's just a plain little like a see-through basket and it looks a bit I don't know it's getting a bit grubby so I do wipe it but anyway so I saw this cleaning caddy one 
Uh, it's got the rose gold writing on. And I thought this isn't too big because I have bleach in there, um, a cloth and the sprays, whatever that I'm putting in there. Um, and I, I never use a toilet brush. I used to work in a doctor's um, dispensary. I was a man, like a um, assistant deputy uh, manager in the dispensary. And we never had cleaning uh, toilet brushes in the doctors they're totally unhygienic there's no need for them um so i don't have a toilet brush and so this is the only thing that will be at the side of the toilet and i just tend to if the toilets might spray it with some stuff put some tissue down flush it and it goes so that's um, to put all my bits and bobs in bleach and toilet spray and what have you so that was 149 i think oh no two pound that one and then I got my laundry cleaner, cleanser, oh, I've used it, haven't I? The, um, I'll pop and get it, bear with me a second. I'm back. Okay. I got the, this week I got the opulence scent. It smells gorgeous as that. Um, so, you in the wash, if you haven't used this, you're supposed to put six capfuls into the... Um, you know your conditioner drawer bit the conditioner slot where it goes um, six capfuls into there but I hate using the cap because then it all runs down your bottle and it gets ugh, I hate things on my hands I hate my hands being dirty it's just a bit of a thing I have about um, my hands I have to wear gloves for everything and but if I'm just popping the washing in I don't I don't want the bottle to get all ugh, and get it on my hands so what I did figure out was that I this is I backtrack a second I got this last week from home bags which I didn't show you this was an offer at excuse me I've got a hiccup 2.99 and what I did figure out was that on this concentrated one if I use the cap to dose the fabric conditioner on the on the comfort deluxe one and pour that into my um, dispenser bit where the fabric conditioner goes and then I use six caps of this it's almost to the top so what I do is put the cap full of this in and then I fill it almost to the top with this so I measured it once and it works perfectly so in my machine you'd have to just measure it in your machine if you did that and see how far you need it to be the other thing i would say is if you if you don't use that comfort just put six capfuls in and see how far it comes up in your drawer and then top it up with fabric conditioner to your maximum line and then see how your first wash comes out you can always adjust it a little bit um if you need if you need to but you might find that the amount of fabric conditioner in the drawer even with this is perfect for your wash anyway that's what I found with that so I got that basically that was a long way around that wasn't it and how it works in my drawer um so where's my list where are we laundry cleanser 199 now I needed some new batteries for my um, glade thing I did put some um, of the cheaper ones that I normally get from uh, Home Bargains or B and M in there, and it's only lasted a week. So I've been I bought some Duracell while I was at B and M, and hopefully these will last longer than a week. Um, well, I don't even know if it's lasted a week. I bought that the refill last week, and it's I mean the refill's nearly full, so they might have only lasted a couple of days. I haven't really noticed, take much notice of it. So all I know is this morning when I thought it's, it, it don't seem to be working, and I pressed the because on that one you can press it and have a spray as well as an automatic spray, uh, and it didn't work. So I thought oh, I need some bad, new batteries, so I got the better batteries today. Um, so that was that, and they were four fifty for eight which is more expensive the others are about a pound for ten but they're all right for other stuff like your remote controls and things like that they're absolutely fine uh, i think there were panasonic ones that were in i'm not sure but anyway duracell i was like oh four pound fifty for batteries is crazy but anyway i also needed food wise some eggs for the boys for the dogs that is 
they have scrambled eggs every day so I got some eggs while I was there and a pack of 10 hens fed on a healthy nutritious high grain diet they were a pound for the 10 and then I got a um, blast can I can't think what it was called then <laughs> a blast can of air freshener I'm trying this one this smells really fruity I've had a couple of the others and I've been really I had the opulence last week that was really good this is for the utility room for the toilet um, I love the smell of that as well so it smells really fruity that one but it does work rather than mask the odor it actually eliminates the odor so that's good and then I picked up these these are new well new in my area anyway the concentrated disinfectant wipes these are in electrify which i like the smell of bleach free long lasting multi-surface long lasting freshness multi-surface clean and shine antibacterial wipe and on there again effective against coronavirus kills all enveloped viruses kills cold and flu viruses and kills e coli spot on so i'll use these on my uh, door threshold and i'll use them on the door handles as well and my mobile phone and the house phone and all that kind of thing so they are there and there's 80 in there they were 149 then i got hubby bruschetta they don't always have this in here or at home bargain, but i got him a bag of bruschetta because he takes that in his for his when he's on his nights out and he can have crackers and cheese and things he likes that they do a tomato one which he likes better but they didn't have any they just had the garlic one so they were 89p and then the last thing that i bought from b m was a new doormat we needed a new doormat and this is one of the like vinyl backed so it stops any wet coming through so it's a it's a 40 by 60 centimeters it's washable um, and hardware and it says and that was three pound so all in all i've got the bits of food i needed from there at my food shop um and those picked those up while i was in there and it was quiet as i say so uh, it weren't too dangerous i'll just get my marks and spend a few bits out of the fridge and i'll show you i'll be back in one minute i'm back Right, for those of you, I don't know if you have, but if you haven't got a Marks and Spencer Sparks card, then you're missing out on a trick because if you have a, smart, a, a Sparks card and then you download the app, which is free, you get uh, deals every week sent to your card um, with offers and things on. Um, and they like sometimes base it on the kind of things that you buy and sometimes it's just like one-off things like last week i got a dining meal for 10 pound which is normally if you haven't bought one from marks and spencer um you get a main course a side and a dessert for 10 pound um so i think i actually showed that last week i can't remember now i think i did um, and then on the offer last week, I got a free additional side. So on the additional side dish, I used, I chose the truffled cauliflower cheese and we had that with our Sunday lunch. I put it away for the Sunday lunch and we had that for Sunday lunch. So um, without, as part of our vegetable mix with our pork. So it is quite a good offer and um, it doesn't run all the time, don't the dining, but when it's on, it's a really good one. I have bought a few things before and, and put them in the freezer. So anyhow marks and spencers gone gone off on a tangent haven't we the sparks card um i got an offer on mine this morning that if you bought one of their wood fired pizzas you got free garlic bread so we use a lot of garlic bread i keep it in the freezer um so because hub is out tonight i needed something for my tea tonight so i picked up i popped in because it's next door to b&m as well i popped in and i got a wood fired pizza so and this is a italian ham mushroom and mascarpone it says deliciously crisp hand stretched sourdough base topped with italian tomato sauce tender italian ham sauteed mushrooms rich creamy italian mascarpone cheese so that's that and that'll be quick and easy for me i also got one of the that was five pound by the way but it does serve two this will do two days so I'll, I'll eat half of it and then the other half i'll pop in the fridge for lunch or something tomorrow 
Um, I got a side salad, sweet and crunchy. I think that was 150, just so I don't have to mess about tonight. Uh, and then the free garlic bread, I got four of the stone baked garlic breads. Now these will do, they are big enough inside for one one bread for one person for one meal. So there's enough for two of us in there for two meals. So two chilies or two spaghetti bolognese or whatever. So they'll go in the freezer. So they're 2 50 normally, but I got those free. So that was quite a good offer. And um, all things like that. What else have I got on here as well at the minute? It's on my phone. Let me have a look. Um, yeah, so free. And you've got, I had nine days to use the offer. So I've done that. Um, I've also got on there 75 pence off a five pound spend on fish and fish cakes. Um, 75 pence off when you spend six pound on cheese, which you're not going to do that now, I don't think, unless you've got a real hankering for cheese. Um, Christmas time, probably, yeah. But anyhow, it's handy to have. And then I've got a seven pound off when you spend 70 pound on MS. Well, I've never spent seventy pound. I've got I got a five pound off last week when you spend forty, which that's that I did do because I bought the dining meal and one thing or another, and I got packs of chicken from there and things. So I did. When this offer is on and when you're getting a voucher and things like that, I tend to do my meat shop at Marks and Spencers because you do get good value. There's no waste, and a lot of the time. You tend to get the meats and the chicken and things like that at the same price or relatively near enough price as you do at your supermarket. A lot of people are put off by shopping at Mars and Spencer's because they think it's got a reputation for being high priced. Yet, admittedly, some of the prices are high on certain items, but they do deals and they do three for ten on certain like fish cakes and uh, fresh prawns and things like that they'll have three for ten and salmon and all that kind of thing and um, chicken and chicken goujons and all that stuff they do three for ten so you could mix and match between the fish and the chicken um, excuse me let me have a little sip I'm drying up again so don't be put off by the reputation of it being expensive um, and as I say, you just have to look. Yep, some things are expensive. They do three packs of cooked meat for £7 off the deli. Now, that sounds a lot, but when you look in your supermarket, you can get a pack of ham for £3. Um, you know, if you got three from the supermarket, it would be £9. So three from Marks and Spencer's is £7. So it is a good deal. And they do have really great offers on and they're not that expensive when you work it out properly um so yeah have a go have a look give it a try see what you think so that's all i've got on my card at the moment um but you can everything you use as well everything every time you buy in there you swipe your card whether it's homeware clothes food whatever you donate to a charity of your choice so at the moment i'm on the i'm looking at my phone what i'm on i'm on the guide dogs charity i don't know if you can see that Whoop. Uh, 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 it's the light i think it does say here guide dogs and so far since june last year there's they've raised four thousand and eighty five pounds for the guide dog so that's good in a year um, and you can change the charity that you that you want to donate to every time. So you don't actually physically donate money. They donate money. When you use your card, they donate money. So that's good. So there's all sorts on there. Um, you can do, um, you can shop online on there through the Sparks app. But that's the actual Sparks homepage. Once you, that's my Sparks card. So if you don't have your card with you, you can just scan your, um, your card on here and then i say office of the week it comes up when you go into the home page on it office of the week it's not very good that is it let me try and there we go you can see it a little bit better office of the week um and then as you slide up it tells you what's on offer um and bedding and homeware and food whatever flowers what's that one save five pound on spring flowers are oh, they beautiful aren't they and daffies and things and they have daffodils in there at a pound a bunch, which is exactly the same price as a supermarket. So, yeah, just give it a go. Give it a go and see what you think. And then 
you, if, you know, if it helps, let me know. Right, my lovelies. If you've got any comments, please pop them in the comment below. Let me know about the mask thing if you're having a problem with your skin because I don't know what to do really about it. I don't really, I mean, you can't not wear the mask. Uh, I don't know if there's anything you can use to put on my skin first. I don't know. But if anybody's got any ideas, please let me know. So in the meantime, I'm going to go. I'm going to put this lot away and have a bit of a sort out. Um, and I'm going to try and upload the pantry organisation video later now it's a bit embarrassing is the thing because over the last i mean i lost my mum three years ago and my brother's not been very well and one thing and another he suffers from depression and i've been feeling fed up and what what have you so i've i'll let the pantry everything just get put in the pantry put it in the pantry put it in the pantry i'll sort it out later 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 <laughs> well later came last week and it was just mountains of stuff in there um, and with us having the house up for sale and wanting to we are downsizing because we're going to the caravan to start with as you probably know um, then I don't I, there's no no possible physical way I can take everything that's in this house to the caravan so I'm getting rid of everything that I can um, for when the house sells uh, so it needed a good declutter, it needed sorting out, it needed organising and it was so cathartic, I felt so much better after I'd done it, it was unbelievable. So I'm going to carry on and do that, next week I'm going to have a go at wardrobes and things, so I'll let you know how that goes. So until I upload the pantry video and until I do the next video, take care of yourselves, be kind, stay safe, it's a jungle out there at the moment. Okay, my loves, I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.